Hey, what's up everybody, this is Ray. If you're brand new to iOS and Swift development and you're wondering where to get started, this is the course for you. In this course, you'll learn how to create your very first iOS app. A simple but fun iPhone game called Bullseye. We'll teach you everything you need to know along the way, even if you're a complete beginner to iOS and Swift development. This course is meant for folks at all levels of programming experience. It's good for experienced developers, but new to iOS and Swift, and it's also good for people who have never programmed at all. You'll create Bullseye using Swift UI, which is the hot new way to create user interfaces in your app in Swift. Swift UI was just released at WWDC 2019 and represents the future of iOS development. So by learning it now, you'll be getting a serious head start over other developers. In the first episode, we'll begin by learning what Swift UI is and how it differs from UIKit, which is the previous way of making user interfaces in iOS. You'll learn the answer to the burning question you might have. Should I learn Swift UI, or should I learn UIKit, or should I learn both? We'll then explain the approach we'll be taking in our iOS and Swift for Beginners learning path. In this learning path, you will create two iOS apps from scratch, learning a ton about Swift along the way. In the second episode, we'll take a look at the game we're trying to make, and we'll write ourselves a to-do list of everything we need to do to make the game, just like you would if you were planning out your own app. Then we'll create a brand new project in Xcode 11 so that we can build the entire app from scratch. We'll start with the basics by learning how to set up a simple user interface in a visual manner by using the Swift UI Canvas. We'll then learn a little bit more about how the starter app you just wrote actually works and review the code in the project so far. Along the way, we'll introduce you to a concept called object-oriented programming, which is the technique by which you code iOS apps. Then we'll learn how to make the app interactive by adding a button to the screen that you can tap to print a message to the console. You'll learn about an important concept called SwiftUI state and use that to make the button display a pop-up alert instead of a console message. One of the biggest pitfalls when you're first learning iOS development is not knowing what to do if something goes wrong. So next, I'll show you how you can solve some common beginner mistakes. Finally, you'll get some practice working with SwiftUI on your own with a hands-on challenge, making your app tell you a knock-knock joke. So get your best knock-knock jokes ready. This course is designed to be hands-on, where we'll build the app together step-by-step. -step. It's very important that you don't just watch the exercises, but actually follow along. Open up Xcode, type along with me, and run the app we built in the simulator. This helps you understand how the app gets built step by step. In addition, this course contains several hands-on challenges where you get to practice what you've learned on your own. It's in your best interest to actually pause the video and try solving the challenges. You'll learn a ton by doing this. There's a big difference between knowing the path and walking the path. And the only way to learn programming is to actually do it. It is my sincere belief that this course and those that follow in our iOS and Swift for Beginners learning path can turn you from a complete newbie into an accomplished iOS developer, but you do have to put in the time and effort. By making this course, we've done our part. The rest is up to you. This course is based on the first part of our best-selling book, The iOS Apprentice, which was written by tutorial team members Joey Davila, Fahim Farouk, Eli Ganim, and Matthias Hollemans. If you like this course, be sure to thank them for their great work and consider picking up their book, which can be a handy reference. One final note. SwiftUI, and hence this course, requires you to have the latest version of Xcode installed, which is Xcode 11. So be sure to go to the Mac App Store and download Xcode 11 if you haven't already. And don't worry, it's a free download. Okay, so let's blast off into our iOS adventure by taking a look at the two ways to create user interfaces in iOS, SwiftUI and UIKit.